Meanwhile, a coalition of civil society organizations has flagged off a sensitization awareness campaign on voter education and civic participation. The campaign hopes to educate and mobilize citizens to pick interest in performing their civic duties ahead of the 2023 general elections. TJ Suadewi reports. It is six months to Nigeria's highly anticipated 2023 general elections. The pressure is getting more intense as the Independent National Electoral Commission records about 20 million newly registered voters. This increase in voter registration has given rise to calls for citizens to be more aware of their voting rights and the importance of voting their conscience. In Abuja, a group of civil society organizations have unveiled a sensitization campaign they call Value Your Vote. The campaign is to raise the participation of youths, women and persons with disabilities as well as increase voters' understanding of key election information ahead of the general elections. Politicians are definitely going to come and ask you to buy your votes and that is because your votes are valuable and because your votes actually do count. Uh, my appeal to you is do not sell your votes. The leadership recruitment process is something that the people need to understand very well how to go about it and it's something that you should value as we are going to the polls. Now the politicians have weaponized poverty and ignorance to the point that Nigeria goes to the poll and they follow the sheepish romanticizing of people's emotion by the political class to vote wrongly over time. This campaign is significant to me because it is a call to responsibility. It's a call to everyone seated here to take up the decision to be responsible, not just for you, but for everyone who is dependent on you. Reports we received from INEC indicated that the so many PVC cards are lying down in the offices uncollected. So there's no way you can vote except you come with your PVC card. Registered voters have also been encouraged to ensure they collect their PVCs and choose leaders only based on credibility and competence. TJ Suadio, TVC News, Abuja. Kaduna State Governor Nasser Erufai says the resolutions reached about the structure of the APC Presidential Council will be made public after briefing President Muhammadu Buhari. He made this known after a delegation of the Progressive Governors Forum alongside the National Secretary of the APC had a closed-door meeting with the party's presidential and vice-presidential candidates in Lagos. Governor Erufai made it clear that the meeting was just to give a report and meet minds on the assignment on the proper structure of the council that will handle the forthcoming APC presidential campaign. He says the candidates will consult more with the party leadership for other positions before the formal unveiling of the presidential campaign council. The delegation was led by the chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum, Governor Atiku Bagudu, and attended by the National Secretary of the Party, Iola Umishuri, former chairman of the party, Adam Soshomale, and members of the forum. ...of the Progressive Governors Forum, led by our chairman, Governor Atiku Bagudu. Uh, the party was represented by the National Secretary of the party, and we came uh, to report on an assignment given to us by our presidential candidate Asua Jibola Ahmed Tunubo and his running mate to begin the broad consultations and develop a structure for the presidential campaign council. Um, we have uh, done some work on it. We have briefed the candidate and his running mate and uh, inputs have been taken and our hope is that in the shortest possible time the candidate will consult more with the party leadership and brief Mr. President and get his input and then will formally unveil the presidential campaign council. Um, the a decision has been taken on the director general but other positions in the campaign council are still being discussed and uh, the president and the national chairman and national working committee will be briefed before a formal 
announcement.